Welcome, Climate Viewers. My name is Jim Lee from ClimateViewer.com, and I am freaking stoked. Three years ago, I started mapping things with Google Earth, the application on uh, Windows, and putting dots on the map for nuclear power reactors, HARP facilities, NSA facilities, drones, you name it, polluted uh, places from around the world, and I, you know, I, I, I had this Google Earth file. I, you know, my nickname was Resonated. Nobody knew my name, and I was at Resonated.net, and um, started putting my Google Earth file out there. And I wanted to to make something to show everybody what I had done because, you know, when you when you put all this stuff together, it looks awesome, and you need to see the big picture and connect the dots and all that stuff. So I, I, I had to learn how to make a website, um, and and this was a daunting task. I really wasn't prepared for how um how tough it is because this you know html code stuff it's it's really complicated stuff and it took me two years um to really learn how to do html and and now we're to the point where it has really paid off um these are all the layers from climate viewer 3d i've got this new system my friend seth helped me um get together we've been coding together for about three years i love the guy um and, and, and it's phenomenal. So I'm, I'm just overjoyed that I've finally gotten to this point where I love the app. The app's perfect, and I really want to share it with you guys. Here's a tutorial. Stick around. Let's, let's dig in. So up here at the top, there's four buttons. Um, try to keep it simple. Layers on the left. Options on the right. Zoom out and clear the map. This will clear all your layers off, any kind of dots on the map. So let's go to the options real quick. You've got instructions. This video will appear here by the time we're done. Um, you can view the reports from Climate Viewer Reports. And you can see here you've got uh, you know people posting their chemtrail photos from around the world. We have all kinds of different categories. Um, and guys, keep the photos coming. I love them. We're going to show them in a video coming up soon, and I'll start covering them more often. Um, anyway, so back here, you can submit your reports by clicking here. You can switch to a Google map, a flat map by clicking here and go back to Climate Viewer's homepage, chat here, turn the sun on and off here. Pretty cool. You can actually see the sun. See right there. And uh, terrain, 3D buildings, roads, overview, map scale, status bar, longitude, latitude, historical imagery. And you can load your own layers from around the internet. So if you see any Google Earth KML files, you want to check them out real quick, copy paste them in here, they'll appear on the map. Um, and then, of course, you know, my information, Climate Viewer news um the technologies involved these are all the different open source programs that i've used to create this um and we were using adsense for a little while just to try to pay for the server my server is about three thousand dollars a year right now we're we're getting kind of expensive i i support this you know with my my family um and we didn't make any money on the adsense and we haven't made any donations all year so please please um support us by clicking the paypal there or um, I really could use some help here. But anyway, we'll chug along and uh, keep this thing running as best we can. I'll mow lawns if I have to. So um, over here on the side, this is where all the magic happens. This is the map layers. You do that by toggling here, or you can close them by clicking at the top. And you scroll through the Climate Viewer reports we just showed. Um, you can click here, and they will appear on the map, as you can see here. Now, some of these have a tree associated with them. What you'll see is these little check marks. We'll turn them off and on. You can zoom to the location where they are. This is where it was reported. You can click anything with an underline on it. You can click and a info window will pop up. This is the Google balloon from hell. Google, my windows are so much better than yours. You guys want my code? Holler at your boy. I will gladly hand it over. Um, then the source is provided here, which will show you um, the website that the information came from. And you can download this layer by clicking here and view it in your Google Earth application or any other GIS software. So moving along, we got news from Carbon Capture Report. We've got um, the Nuclear Emergency Tracking Center, uh, Harlan's uh, Nuclear tracker from the EPA, pretty awesome. Uh, USGS, seven days colored by, these are earthquakes. Now this is one of those trees that I was talking about. As you can see here, the Nuclear Emergency Tracking Center pops up, just shows up on the map. Some of them will pop up like this. Now if you see a triangle, you can expand the category by clicking on it. And that'll show you everything inside that folder. 
and you can show it that way. And then you can turn those off and on everything in the folder by clicking on the folders checkbox. Double clicking the icon will zoom you to it. Clicking the underline icon will make it appear here or of course simply clicking on the map marker. So that's how you use the layers, um, the very simple version. And there are many, many layers. We got earthquakes, we got volcanoes, um, their latest activity as well, so that you can see, you know, which volcanoes are popping off this week. Um, of course, you just click on that. And, you know, if you got your 3D layers turned on your terrain, you can come over and actually see the, the volcano. I do this for a lot, just volcano hunting. They're, they're really beautiful, very beautiful. Um, and we've got NASA fire. Um, tracking this is firms the 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 satellite up there that uh tracks all the fires spits it out on our map it's a very very big file but when it turns on this is what you get and you see fires from around the world so um let's not dig too deep into there on um, many other layers i've got my ebola map i'm gonna update so you guys can uh i've got a lot of requests for that so we'll get that updated and the weather layers you've got um daily storm logs you got hurricane trackers um You've got lots of really cool stuff in here. And you can see like uh, hurricane plots like that. Um, next rad and now rad. And I have an animation. So check this out. This is the next rad. And this is your standard feed. And then I've, what I've got here is under my Doppler radar station file, I took the file from the weather mod guys. And they've got a really cool Google Earth file. And you can click on the green ones. And let's see here. And it'll say like base storm total. If you click these, it'll load the layer and put it on the map, which I'm very, very stoked about. I have finally beaten JavaScript. <laughs> too cool. Too cool. So there you go. Just wanted to point those out. So that's in uh, here. And same thing with the WX analyst, they have one similar. Um, using animations real fast. I'm going to click all these on. All right, so I just animated all of the US. I'm going to come over here, and there's a time slider. I'm going to drag it all the way to the left, and I'm going to grab this other bar. I'm going to drag it all the way to the right. And that loads every frame in the animation. It takes a second, depending on your speed. Zoom in. Now I'm going to grab this bar, pull it back to here so they're together. And now I'm going to grab the other one, and I'm going to animate it. And that's how the time slider works. Just want to show you guys that. So let's uh, cut that off by clicking that. Turns them all off simultaneously. We got a little hiccup there. Um, lightning strikes, drought monitor, um, five day forecast, rain totals. Uh, you name it, it's in there, guys. Lots and lots of interesting files. Got a hiccup on the map. So um, occasionally, if Whenever these get cleared out, sometimes they don't fully clear out. Press F5. Reloads really fast. Pollution. We have chemical weapons dumped in the ocean. We've got uh, nu nuclear uh, uh, nuclear <laughs> dumps from around the world. These are the EPA toxic cleanup sites. Ten most radioactive places on Earth. Um, just tons and tons of work has gone into this guys you could you could stay here all day and learn so much stuff or you could just come here for the the live data but um check it out three mile island chernobyl meltdown in 3d oh yeah fukushima meltdown with fallout chart in 3d oh yeah i made those files Lots of fun. I, I really enjoy mapping the things out. It gives you a very interesting perspective on things. Fracking across America, contaminated coal waste ponds, bayou corn sinkhole, all that good stuff. Um, guys, just dig in here. Let me go down here. I'm going to com come through some of these other ones. Geoengineering and weather modification projects. I'm going to be doing the NOAA cloud seeding reports for 2012 through 2002 coming up soon. They will appear like this. This is only a partial of 2012. Look for that in the near future. And the, the best section on Earth, this is where all the fun happens. Nuclear power reactors. Color-coded for your pleasure. Click on them. That's an underwater nuclear power plant, just so we're clear. Um, 
click on the details here, it tells you the color codes. Anything with an underline you can click on. Test explosions, warheads, NSA facilities like the Utah Data Center, Spy Central, um, underwater cables, very cool. They drive subs down there to listen to your communications. DHS fusion centers. Oh, yeah. Drones across America. We would not lie to you. <laughs> FEMA camps, prisons worldwide, missile defense radars of the world. Star Wars on crack, people. In red space fence, you got Auth B, you got the SBX boat. Oh yeah, man. All of the Star Wars radars of the world, including Russia, you just got put on blast last night. Your Varenza radars, the D Nesters, and uh, the containers. These are brand new, very hard to find. So, um, we have Harp. We have ionospheric heaters of the world, and you can see them. They have the black outlines, like Arecibo and Gicamarca, Peru. Super Darns are in orange. Purple are incoherent scatter radars. Elf and VLF transmitters of the world. Gotta love the headaches and the brain altering VLF signatures. Those are Gwen stations, by the way, in red. Very cool stuff. North American Doppler radars, same as a file up four. A couple more uh, sensors. We have cell phone towers across America. Oh, yeah. Big file. And in the other section, we've got um, current flights, flight tracker. We got ship trackers, buoy trackers. Um, very cool stuff. And, you know, of course, all of these come with like live sensors. Most of these you can click on and they'll take you directly to. Um, the information. So there you have it. This is uh, my new brand new version. I'm very stoked about it. I hope you guys will all check it out. There's Pyramids of the World from uh, Revelations of the Pyramids if anybody checked that out. Very fun stuff. So like I said, you know, this is open source. This is uh, activism meets high technology and uh, surveillance. I hope you guys will uh, join me in the fun and uh, spread the message. Of course, any layers that you have on right now, you can share them by doing this, share active layers. If you share that link, as you can see here, it will turn that layer on and people will immediately be able to see exactly what you're talking about. So connect some dots, share some layers, show some love. And unless someone like you cares a whole awful lot, nothing is going to get better. It's not.